So I got some ugly number in the 25s. So then let me find a whiteout. Of course, I don't have one over here. So let's white, write out the 25 part. So that should be 101.508. Now let's type these in. 101.508 plus 5.32021. And that was a minus. And then we have six times 3.24125 minus 27. That's more like it. And then multiply that by pi. We get 189, which is still wrong. Wait, why'd you do 101.508 plus? Yeah, that was a minus, right? Yeah. Thank you. Having a big moment today. It should be close to 150-ish. Okay, let's see if I did my parentheses correctly. I should be minus. And then times that by pi. Yep. So we get 156.263. And if you want to write the remaining, you can. You can also write 264 as well. So our final answer, that took a while. The volume was a team effort on this one. Of the solid, and they always want it as a statement, is 156.263. You don't really need a unit for this one since I didn't give you the unit to begin with, but if you want to be perfect and say units cubed, that will be even better. So let's see where the partial credits are coming from. This part, one point. Knowing the integral being separated and also the G part, G of X, that's another point. And then having the correct number when you're plugging in into the F of X and so on is going to give you another point. And your final sentence, Last point. That should be four points total. Well, All right. What's that? They they will most likely because they saw this already and they'll go. What about this then? Because it's like being redundant. Okay. The last one is going to be really short. All right, Timothy. Let's read. Okay, right, but do not evaluate. So let's look at this. Our S is over here, right? So it'll be top minus the bottom. We know that part. But then we have to kind of incorporate something as seven times more. So we know we have base times height. And it says um, whose height is seven times more than the base. So the height is seven times more than the base. So really in the end, we're looking at seven times B squared, or in the end, also seven times S squared. So our volume from zero to three, seven times my side squared, my side is f of x minus g of x, all squared dx. And that will give you the breakdown of 1.4 knowing where the bounds are, and then the remaining is another point. 